So Bulletstorm is an over-the-top first-person shooter uh, where we challenge players to kill with skill and kill with style. Um, we give them the tools to go for these kind of insane kill combos and generate all these huge points. Uh, basically have a lot of fun. You can kind of toy with your enemies like a cat with a mouse uh, and just go crazy and have a lot of fun. So the game is fueled by the skill shot system. So in a normal shooter it's fun to kill someone, right? You know, But in this game if you kill them and you just get 10 points you're really disappointed. You want to be as cool and creative as possible so we give you tools like the leash, uh, the kick and the slide combined with your weapons allow you to do cool skill shots. So a skill shot, a basic skill shot, something like a headshot, uh, or you could use the leash to pull someone towards you and shoot them in the air, that's a frequent flyer. Do a headshot at the same time so you get the frequent flyer and a headshot. You could wrap them with the flail chain, kick them into the enemies, blow them up together, gang bang. So it's kind of cool, it's all about using your imagination, the environment, the enemies. Each enemy is an opportunity to score points and so you're trying to do all this cool stuff and get as many points as possible. In the beginning of the game, you're uh, after the crash, you're with Ishii Sato, who's your kind of half cyborg buddy. So he kind of accompanies you through some of the levels. And then at some point you'll meet other characters. Another one that we unveiled this week at Gamescom is Trishka. Uh, she's a female, so she's a leader of a, of a squad called Final Echo. And you're kind of like, she's your sort of enemy to start with, but you realize that you have to work together to get off the planet. So you team up and form this sort of uneasy alliance, working together to get off the planet and kind of eventually escape. Stygia is like an abandoned um, Las Vegas of the future, I guess, is a good description. Um, one of the core tenets of the game was, um, is, that's being built is it's kind of cool sci-fi in a familiar world. It's The player can kind of recognize or sort of see visual cues of something they might see nowadays, but it's in the future. It's on this huge planet. It's abandoned. So you crash land on this planet. There's no one around. You're kind of first, first mystery. Where is everyone and why is this place abandoned? And then you discover there are people living there, but they're feral humans, rogue gangs, all trying to kill you. So that's the second thing is what, why are they here and, and what's happened to them. And then the third mystery is really about well, why have they all got these cool guns. So they, all these guys have got all this modern weaponry, high tech stuff, but they're like on this abandoned paradise. So you're trying to work out all the things together. As the story unfolds, you find out, you know, how you got there, why you got there, why these guys are here, and all, or, you know, how come they've got all this cool stuff. There's a number of environments on the planet. So when you crash initially, you start on the outskirts of the city, kind of a desert environment, and then you move through kind of like a lush, sort of tropical, almost forest kind of area. Then you move into some more kind of beautiful landscapes, and then in the city, and then under the city, there's kind of all sorts of stuff. So there's lots of ver variety on the planet. Uh, you get to see some beautiful cityscapes. The Unreal Engine makes everything look fantastic as well. You encounter Hecaton early on in the game, and uh, you piss her off. I'm not going to spoil it and give away secrets, but uh, she's pretty angry at you, and so she follows you throughout the game, and you have a number of encounters with her. And we showed her at the press conference uh, this week, we showed you sort of one of the encounters with her, and you get to fight her on a huge scale, so it's kind of awesome. PCF are famous for doing massive boss battles, battles and so there's that tradition carries on in uh, Bulletstorm. So it's multi-platform PC, PS3 and 360, uh, and it'll be coming out in February 2011.